All right, I'll start first, just, just to give you guys an update of just the information that I know. I don't know all the information. Um, we know that Carson came in, you know, he injured his foot yesterday at practice. Um, you know, he's been with the docs. He's trying to get the, you know, they're trying to figure out what the process is. So they're still evaluating, you know, what the, what the next move is and, um, you know, how bad it is. Um, and then we'll go from there. Um, I'll open it up for any questions. What about Ryan? Can you give us any update on Ryan Kelly? Uh, Ryan, I know he had something with his elbow, a little hyperextension to his elbow. Uh, I believe Marlon ran into him at practice yesterday, you know, just accidental. Um, I think he'll, he'll be out for probably a couple of weeks, but he'll, he'll be okay. Did Carson get injured during the drill late? Because he looked good. He did. He had a great day yesterday. Um, he, he got hurt during the team period when he was rolling out, uh, planted to go throw, and he just kind of felt a little twinge in his foot. So it wasn't stepped on or anything? No, it was not stepped on, no. It was just why he was running. I guess the silver lining is you're getting more work for Jacob. Is that help the fact that Eason is going to get a lot more work now? Well, he definitely needs it, and, and it's good. And, you know, he's getting better every day. I thought he had a good practice yesterday. Today was, a, you know, a little bit rougher for the entire offense, um, but it, well, it, which was expected. You know, it was a third down, so, the, you know, those are tough situations. You know, top offense in the, in the league, in the NFL on third down is going to be 50%. So it's going to look a little rough on these days. Um, but there's a lot of good coaching points, a lot, a lot of plays, to, a lot of good film to be able to coach off in, in today's practice. With Carson, you said he's getting looked at. You have no, you said Kelly may miss a couple of weeks. You have really no idea on Carson. No, not yet. You know, um, we should know something shortly. We just, we're kind of just waiting right now. Just one thing to clarify on Carson. He, yesterday, when he finished practice, there wasn't any issue, right? Well, he felt it yesterday, and that's why he went in to go check, check on it. Yeah. But. Yeah, and, then, and that's why you probably saw that he missed the last period of practice. Yep. Marcus, with, uh, with Jacob today, it looked like he checked down a lot. Not a lot of deep field down to the throws, not a lot of aggression. Was that part of the plan? Was it? Well, I'll tell you, I mean, part, well, part of it is, you know, we're putting in our offense. Flus is putting in his defense. He played a lot of what we call, you know, shell coverage, middle open coverage, uh, which forces you to kind of check the ball down if you don't have the right plays to attack that coverage. So, you know, we, we're going to look at him film and, you know, we don't want to scheme too much against our defense. We got to, you know, we got to run plays that fits our offense first. You know, and then once we get into the season, we're, you know, we'll be able to scheme the defense. So uh, evaluate Jacob three days in, I guess. We've seen him with the ones, we've seen him with the twos. Are you seeing what you want to see? Because this is a guy that hasn't played against the defense in almost two years. Well, yeah. I mean, the biggest thing, we just want to continue getting him reps. I mean, there's plays that he just hasn't seen. It's his first time actually getting the live rep. Um, he's going to learn from it. He's going to make the mistakes. Um, he made some good plays, made some bad plays, and we just got to continue to grow and make sure that he's improving and learning from those mistakes. Marcus, I mean, this is a big jump from what he was doing last year. I mean, you were involved in a lot of that. Just can you contrast <laughs> what he what he had to do last year to get you know any kind of growth to what he's doing like today with the first team offense? That's a huge jump. It is a big jump for him, but I thought he handled it well. Um, he was great in and out of the huddle. Um, I thought he made all the checks correctly. You know, he just got to see it a little bit quicker, but that's going to come with reps. You know, it's a little bit faster for him not getting that live rep against the defense, um, but he's, he's getting better. What do these snaps do uh, for confidence, too? Because that's, that's a big part for a young quarterback in short. Oh, definitely it's going to get him more confidence because now he's going to be able to envision these plays in his head. It's going to make him think much quicker. It's going to accelerate his vision. So we just, it's good that he's able to accumulate all these reps. Marcus, what have you seen in this short time with Marlon Mack? Marlon with, Mack, what have you seen? Marlon, he's looked really good. I mean, his last two days, he had some nice explosive runs. Um, he's making nice cuts, which he, you know, he has, he's always had great vision, but you can see the cut um, in the hole on the field. So you can see he's fully healthy. Um, and, I, you know, I love watching him run because, I mean, he sets up blocks very well and he's just fun to watch. You know he's coming from the Achilles, but if you didn't know that, would you know that he's coming back? I actually haven't. No, I have not noticed the injury. I, it looks to me like he's full go. You see it from Mike Strong. Mike Strong, I mean, um, you know, he's grown ever since, you know, we got him early in the spring. Um, you know, still picking up the offense, but overall, I mean, we like what we see. He's growing. He's getting better every day. I mean, Groh's doing a great job with him. You know, he's trying to get a grasp of the offense so that he can play faster um, because, I mean, obviously he's he's physical. He's got big size, something that, you know, you want to you want to have. Um, he's just got to continue to grow. Kylan Granson looks like the player you thought he was. Yes, he's he's playing fast. You know, they're all you know some of these young guys. They're they're making some mistakes here and there, but we like what we see from him. You know, he's growing. He's getting better. Again, we're installing something new every day, so it, there's always something new for them to learn. Do you take a good view of the uh, little scuffle between uh, Campbell and Pittman? I saw it late. I had turned my back because I started talking to the quarterbacks about the previous play and then trying to get the next play in, and then I saw the scuffle. Uh, um, so I don't know exactly what happened um, on that play. Pretty heated, it looked like. 
He, it, it looked like, because I saw the end, he, whoever he was with, he slammed somebody. So. Do you like seeing that? I mean, a big physical receiver, probably not the worst thing you've seen coming out. No, I mean, you love the intensity, but at the same time, we're all the same team, so we got to protect our guys, so you don't want to see that too much. Yeah. Marcus, with Carson's status right now, do you think you guys will bring in another arm? Uh, well, we'll see what's going on right now. I'll let Chris and Frank handle that. Um, and, and we got to see where Carson is. You know, we, we don't know all the information yet. It looked like a pretty good day for the, the D line. How did you see Jacob handle some of the pressure that was getting him? I thought he did a good job moving into the pocket. Um, you know, obviously, they're, you know, defense going to say they got quite a few sacks. Um, but overall, um, I thought he handled it well. You know, um, Scott Milovic did a great job working it in an in individual drill of. We're trying to stress, you know, keep it, when you are moving, keep two hands on the ball to protect that football. Um, obviously, we don't want that catastrophic play. Um, so I thought he handled it well. And he got out the pocket. You know, we just don't want him, you know, don't force throws down the field. If it's not there, get the three, four yard gain or, you know, check it down to the back. Marcus, I know you're not in pass, but what do you anticipate that left tackle, how, how do you anticipate that left tackle situation playing out in terms of just how you evaluate it? Um, I think you had Tevy in there today, Will play the first team the last couple of days. How's that playing? Well, it's going well. I mean, it's, it's open competition. You know, we're just trying to get somebody in a groove. We don't want to just go in and out every single rep. So uh, Will handled it yet um, the last two days, and now Tevi's going to have it for the next couple of days. Um, and when, we're going to see who wins that job. Let them compete. So you just keep kind of cycling. Yeah, yes, yes. Hopefully we get Julian Davenport back as well.